Hey, hi friends. Uh, welcome to today's video. So today we are going to discuss one of the important question which is generally asked, I think almost in all the interview that what is the difference between frame and bounds? Now there are three questions which generally I have seen that people ask here that the first question is very simple. What is the difference between frame and bond? If you remember it, you can easily answer this question. Now the second question comes that in which case frame and bound X and Y coordinate can be different. Like if, if you print uh, the frame CG react and if you print the bound CG react, in which case the X and Y will remain same and in which, in which case it can be different. And the third case that in which case the height and width will also be different. Now let's come to the first question first. That what is a frame and, and what is a bond? So bound basically we say that we determine the coordinate system in terms of or in on relative to its own coordinate system. So I just read the definition. The bounds of an UI view is the rectangle expressed as a location and size relative to its own coordinate system. And what we say about the frame that we express the same thing relative to its super view. So the frame of an UI view is a rectangle expressed as a location and size relative to the super view it is contained within. Now we'll see the, the the next question is that in which case frame and bound X and Y can be different. Now for that what I have done I have created a view and then inside that I have a child view so that this for this child view this is the super view and if you see the I have given that four spacing in all the sides okay. So in this case if you run this application and I print the child view frame and child view bounds let's see what the results we get so if i just click on my rotate button forget about the button name that i have done for some other explanation which will come later but if i click on this button i am printing the child view frame and child view bounds now if you see the height and width are same in both the cases but the x and y are different like in the bounds is 0 comma 0 and in the frame it's 4 comma 4 comma 4 and which is like clear to uh, uh, you also like the x if you see it is 4 and y you see it is 4. Now if I make everything as 0 comma 0 here. Okay. Now if you see x is 0 y is also 0. And in this case if you run this. You will find that the frame and bounds are exactly same. Inside this child view if you look with respect to super view. It is starting at the corner. Miss exactly at the x 0 and y 0. So in this case, if you see the frame and bound is exactly same. Okay, the height and width and even the X and Y position. So one thing you you, uh, you can imagine now that if you have a child view inside a super view, then if the view is smaller and not starting from the corner position, that means X comma and zero and Y comma zero. In that case, the bound and frames coordinate like x and y will be different else the x and y will be same and width and height will also same so it is like how you are looking from outside okay now the other question which is asked here that in which case the height and width is also different because see whatever i do let's say i i just make it 50 comma 50 so now i change the x and y position so my frame that will change because with respect to frame it is see this is 0 comma and y 0 is here and now you are starting your child view from here that means you are coming 50 from here and 50 down that means this one so that's why you can see this is 50 comma 50 but with own coordinate system again the value remains 0 comma 0 and width and height is same because your object is same it's just like that let's say that you are holding your phone in your hand now in whatever direction you see your phone let's say that you are you have tilted your phone or you have seen your phone straight or you are showing your phone to somebody else from straight direction or tilted tilted direction your phone width and height is not going to change maybe the person who is seeing away from it if you, you know hold your phone completely upright he will see visualize the height and width differently if you tilt it he might get confused okay that that's height is different width is different but your actual object is not changing so this bound you can consider that what is the actual width and height of that particular object which is never going to change that is always going to remain same until unless you change the width and height okay and whatever you do this its own coordinate system is never going to change okay so now this 
part of question is clear that in which case frame and bound x and y can be different okay so the answer is that okay if the child view is not the position is not matching with the x and y coordinate system in that case the this one can be different like the x and y position can be different it's not like that everything let's say that i don't change bottom i keep bottom as zero only and i keep uh, trailing as zero see only i'm changing this in this case also you will see the same answer because we are only seeing this point not any other point if i print you will see exactly the same answer so it's the the coordinate starting system which is x comma y as that what matter to us now this up to this it is very simple or not that much complicated now the last question in which case height and width can be different now you just saw that i did many things but in all the cases the height and width remain same the x and y keep changing depending on the what value i was providing okay to understand that let's come to the another example so what i'm going to do i'm just hiding this view so just hiding it okay and now i'm uncommenting few quotes that i have written so now instead of printing this i will just call my did rotate function and i'll just uncomment this so i'll just go through what i have done so here if you see that i have taken two frame like if you see here one is uh, demo view and one is frame view so if you see demo view this color is blue and this i'm again adding it to my super view that is the default view and i'm setting the constant as 300 and width and 150 as height now i'm again setting at my frame view and this is also i'm adding it to my super view and this color is yellow okay so what happens whenever the user taps on the rotate button i'm calling this function did rotate and then i am assigning the demo view frame to frame view frame so i'm doing this to make you understand that how you can see that the demo view bounds is different from frame so in the initial when i run it that you will see that you will not see even the frame view because in that case the demo view which i'm adding after on top of the frame view that will be completely overlapping the frame view because in that case the demo view bounds and demo view frames both are going to remain same in terms of the width and height okay now and then i'm just printing this bounce and frame now let's run this application and see how it looks for the first go so if you see you are just seeing a blue view here now blue if you see i have given the blue color to my demo view okay so and i have given the yellow color to my frame view so right now you are not seeing the frame view you are just seeing the demo view now if you see the value the x 0 y is 0 for my demo view because i am printing all this detail for my demo view so for demo view the bounds x co coordinate is 0 y coordinate is 0 width is 300 height as 150 because if you see this is what i was giving it here okay now if you see the frame the frame x is 45 now what does that mean that right now the demo view is 45 from here and then 347 from the top okay that is its frame is there and then width and height is again same now let's click on rotate so after rotate what will happen that i'm rotating it by 30 degree and then i'm updating the value but i'm doing one more thing that i'm assigning the demo view frame to frame view dot frame okay now once i rotate it now you see you have started seeing the frame view as well okay now in this case if you see the bounds is remaining as same as previous as i told you earlier also that bound is what actual object shows you and your actual object is never going to change your your phone is never going to change its dimension in which angle you show it to your friend or anyone else okay so its coordinate system its width and height is intact it's like fixed it's not going to change so this is 28 from here and what is the y value 282 but this is not 282 correct see that if you see this point your view is already co coming here that means to occupy this particular space actually how much frame you are needing 
you occupy you, you are needing this much of frame but your actual object is only this much so this time this x28 and 282 is not this point this is this yellow uh, view what you're saying this point is showing its coordinate system as x28 and y is 282 now in this case if you see how much the frame and bond is differ the frame height and width is still 300 and 150 150 but to accommodate this tilted say you actually require it this much of frame consider this as that you have to add a child view like this in a super view now how, how the your super view should look like exactly like the way this view is looking the silo view in that case only you can accommodate this because let's say that if your super view starts from here like up to here then obviously this view will go out of this bond so how much is the minimum area that you require so that your child view can completely accommodate into it that is actually the frame so now you must be getting that in which case you have to take or you have to depend on the bounds and and you have to depend on the frame let's say that your requirement is that you have to accommodate a child view inside a parent view now in that case if let's say the child view is simple straightforward like this and you have to take a frame view in that case you can directly depend on the width and height bounds there, there will not be any issue but if you have a case like that where the where the object is actually tilted in that case you have to go on the frame you cannot go on the bounds because in that case if you take the bound your view will not accommodate into your parent parent view and it the view will go out and you will not see the required result in your case so in this case if you see the width and height is actually differs in the case of bound and frame now if you further rotate what you see x is 55 this this point is 55 and 255 again from top this 255 again for this if you have to draw this kind of shape or you have to include this kind of shape inside a parent view you need a parent view of this much of size getting the point this again the same case you in this case your parent view and your child view can be exactly of same same size again the parent view has to be bigger so now you can answer the third question of your interview now even you can answer the fourth which is generally not asked in which case you have you should consider frame on bound this is a very rare question but yeah this question can be also asked that in which case you should focus on frame rather than on the bounds okay i hope that now you should be clear on the frame and bounds how in which scenario it can be different and in which scenario you should choose frame over the bounds so that's all for uh, today's video hope you like it and if you do like it please don't forget to subscribe the channel and, and leave your feedback in the comment section thank you